Hello again, Privileged Ones and YouTube, and welcome back to the channel for a very interesting video today. So as you guys can see, up at kind of the top right, it says The Art of Horizon Zero Dawn. And by the title of this video, you guys are going to be going through the concept art booklet that you would either get with the Collector's Edition or the Digital Deluxe Edition. Which, if you went and pre-ordered Horizon Zero Dawn, you got a bunch of DLCs, you got the Digital Deluxe, you got the art booklet, and you can go over it with yourselves on your PlayStation, but I wanted to kind of give the option for the people on Xbox or on PC to go over the digital booklet and go over it as well, as well as watching the gameplays on my channel. We're going to be going over the gameplays, but we're going to go over the digital deluxe art booklet first. And before we get into it, I have to give you the disclaimer for any spoilers. There's going to be spoilers in the art booklet because of the fact that it is the concept arts of the video game and some of this stuff will exist inside of the game and it is based off of the art they use to design the game. So a lot of the stuff you're going to see in this you are also going to see in my walkthroughs and let's plays and also my guides to Horizon Zero Dawn. But it is a game on the channel right now. It's one of the popular games out so I wanted to just go over that quickly and get into the arts and talk about it a little bit. So it's going to be a very interesting video and I hope you all enjoy. So getting right into it, let's start it off with a concept art of, well, the scenery. This is kind of a very, very low end concept art, kind of giving a rough sketch of some of the terrain and some of the world that's going to exist in Horizon Zero Dawn. As you all know, Horizon Zero Dawn is a post-apocalyptic world, which is very interesting. This looks like a concept art that was based around the way one of the towns looked before the apocalypse. Moving in, this is what it looks like now, or as what it might look like in Horizon Zero Dawn. So as you guys can see, a lot of the buildings were destroyed. We can each actually switch in between this, and that huge building in the middle of the screen is completely gone. That bridge off into the top left completely destroyed as you can see a lot of the stuff is destroyed now and that's pretty cool moving on to the next image this is what they came up with for horizon zero dawn's main concept this is the way it looks now in horizon zero dawn so basically what happened is it looked like a bustling town and this is where they had the design concept this is what the the time period would have looked like right now in our time and then during the apocalypse, this is what it ended up being. And then shortly after the apocalypse, the time period of Horizon Zero Dawn, now this stuff is starting to grow. Trees are also starting to take root. There's a bunch of lively trees that are probably maybe a couple decades old. And a bunch of grass and a bunch of life is starting to form in this world that's going to be in Horizon Zero Dawn. So that's actually really cool. Moving on to the next one, this is some more scenery and more of what the game is going to look like graphics wise, but the graphics do get better than this. This is just going to be a graphic concept of how colorful the world's going to be. And down in the bottom uh, right is going to be kind of more so how colorful the world's going to be and how the graphics will be. Moving on though, we've got this and that image on the right side is more of what the world of the Horizon Zero Dawn is going to look. And that's just that's just beautiful. I love the world in Horizon Zero Dawn so far from what the trailers and the gameplay I have seen. The world looks amazing. And it's all open world. So here's the main character. As you can see it's just a concept design of what she could look like. And off to the right a black and white silhouette of one of the poses that they thought to advertise her in. And this is pretty nice based on some concepts that I have seen. There are some concepts I have seen that aren't as detailed, and this one is one of the more detailed ones. Moving on, here's her again, and this is what I said. This is where she, they were trying to kind of structure her face and the way she was going to look at different angles. And that's quite interesting. It's actually not exactly the way she looks now, but very very close and it's kind of cool to see where they took these images and where they went with the character inside of the game now moving on this is roughly where the character has gone so this is where the character is now 
more closer representing the outfits she's going to wear and this is actually a concept design that goes more over what the concepts of her outfits are going to be she's supposed to be able to interchange her outfits inside of the game and there's supposed to be a lot of diversity with the stuff that she can wear and it's pretty cool to see that with this here so moving on here is the concept art of her bow so i'm not too sure on the way it's supposed to work in the game but on the top left of the screen that's her spear type stick that she has this is actually used to hack into the dinosaurs around the map and as we all know the dinosaurs in arc are mechanical so she hacks into them and she can take control of them and actually have them do what she needs them to do for her and that's really cool alongside that a couple of the dinosaurs that she hacks ends up reaching new objectives and inside of the game she also has a bow that's one of the main weapons that she uses and the bow so the one right underneath the stick obviously looks very primitive and i'm kind of wondering if that's the bow that you start out with in the game and it progresses to the final one which is on the far right and that's the bow that you see featured in all of the trailers and most of the gameplays that you do see of Horizon Zero Dawn. Moving on, we've got this one with the main character holding the bow in a very interesting scene with two of the dinosaurs that we actually can see. And those are more of the raptor, raptor um, type dinosaurs that we will find very prevalent in Horizon Zero Dawn's gameplay. Next up, another one of her actually holding up the head of one of those raptor dinosaurs and with a bunch of arrows stuck in it and she's just kind of looking over at it smiling kind of wondering if this is going to resemble one of the cutscenes we will see in the game but not too sure until i start releasing gameplay of it and then we have this tribes folk talking with kids and then we've got the tribe section and as you can see in the far right of the screen they actually made a dummy to look kind of like one of the dinosaurs so they can actually have target practice and this is kind of where the main character grew up at pretty interesting moving on here's one of the people inside of the game might be the main character's father maybe the chieftain maybe somebody of a lot of importance also really cool to actually have this here because that is also a really good PNG to use for one of my thumbnails if I get to that point. Next up, here are two characters. This is the full detail designs, which is really cool. So Mother G, and then we've got Matriarch 1, or Matriarch I is the name of that character on the right. And that's really cool. That's a lot of detail, really nice concept art. Then we have this. That's very interesting. That looks like a temple of some sort. And it lo actually looks really detailed and really fancy. So I'm kind of wondering if this temple was there before the collapse. And they're just starting to use it. And they're just using it for a temple of some kind. But it doesn't look like they actually built this. Based on the housing and stuff that we've seen so far... I'm not too sure if they actually built this construction. I think it was there and it wasn't destroyed. Then here's some more concepts. More temple styled buildings. Some of the temple's windows, kind of the designs of the windows themselves probably. And we have a soldier of some kind, a guard or whatever. We also have some people a part of that temple that we've seen these two people are probably of very big importance inside of the story and two people of high authority and we've got more people of high authority and i'm pretty sure uh one of these are going to resemble very closely to one of the characters we will find inside of the game of very high importance and we might have to do a very special objective for them or might even have a huge portion of the story based around these people. Next up, some more scenery of in-game, concept arts of in-game of the main character. And as you can see, she does have the primitive looking bow on her back. So I'm pretty sure the bow is upgradable to the point of the final one that we've seen in a concept art earlier back in this video. 
Then we have this. Some more people in armor. Really weird, fancy weapons. Really cool, though. It's awesome to see the primitive side of the character creation, but still having an advanced style of weaponry with fancy metal alloys created from the dinosaurs, which is actually really cool. And I'm pretty sure the eagle symbols down at the bottom are going to represent different clans, maybe different tribes, or that might have been the design concept for one of the tribes, but they didn't know which one exactly to go with, and the final one they came up with was the one at the far right. It's either way. It could be different tribes with similar symbols, or it could be either ranks, maybe, in an army, something along those lines, but we'll figure that out when we get into the walkthrough. So here's another one. Really cool concept arts, guys. This is awesome. So Eclipse. Maybe that's one of the names of the tribes. Also, again, we're not too sure. But Eclipse might also be an enemy tribe. As we all see, they look kind of evil with the eyes being all whited out on the one character to the left. The one person wearing a weird mask. And as you can see, their symbol is a power logo upside down so that's really interesting as well next up here we go somebody trying to build a structure around one of the dinosaurs that were destroyed this is actually a platform dinosaur you actually climb all the way up to the top of it and you have to enter your spear into its head to activate some data which is really interesting moving on primitive huts and kind of the structures behind some of the huts that they've made which is really interesting and it's really cool to actually see a little bit of the concept behind how they built their structures so base down at the bottom it goes from a to b all the way to h and that's really different and here is what a little town looks like or a little tribe area looks like so we've got some more player characters where we probably have uh, these People probably as enemies, these people as tribe folk, maybe even as objective givers. So NPCs from the game. Here we go. Then this one, Banuk, probably an area in the game that's going to be very special, especially with a huge painting on a rock. We'll probably even be able to see this from a very far distance away. And the map is supposed to be huge like Witcher 3 size or bigger. So it's going to be a really big map, really excited to play in an open world experience and be able to go basically anywhere I want. So there's a lot to explore apparently. So basically the main story in the game takes you only through a portion of the map and the rest of it's side quests. And even after doing all the side quests, apparently to IGN, they've stated they've even went through the game and explored and have found areas they've never been before even after 30 plus hours of gameplay. So that's awesome because I want to be able to explore this map for a little while and find secrets in it that I can then give to you guys in videos. So it's really impressive that there's going to be a lot to do in this. Next up, here's another tribe. This is a really nice concept art. Really good wallpaper as well. We've got this one. Pretty cool where they take the armor from the mechanisms we have to fight and turn it into actual things that people wear. So that's actually pretty awesome. Next stop, so mother and father with, I would expect this to be the main character, the main character of the game that we play with, which I believe her name's Nora, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, so she's as a little kid. Bandits, so definitely probably a section of concept art from bad guys. And here's another one, probably the den of the bad guys that we're going to be facing. Probably not good people. They don't look very good. They don't look very nice. Then I would expect them not to be nice, especially the way they look very evil and cynical. Um, and also very, uh, very dangerous. And they're not, you know, too well-rounded people with the way they make their armor and stuff. They make them look like they're very mean. So that's, that's really cool. 
And then we've got a very fancy doorway that we have no idea what's a part of the story, but I'm very sure this is a very important part of the uh, storyline. So yeah, there's going to be a very fancy looking A-shaped door. Really cool. So this one, this one delves into two different areas that we're going to see. We're going to see some caverns. Um which is going to be very icy, very cold. And then we've got another icy area outside of the caverns, and it looks like there's actually some form of civilization being built in an area where there's a bunch of ice inside of the mountains somewhere. Next up, dinosaur fighting, tribes folks running away, a huge-ass dinosaur we're going to have to face, more likely maybe a boss of some kind. And we've got these... I will admit, on the right side, that eagle is featured inside of one of the trailers and also inside of a preview gameplay that was showcased at E3. That is actually a boss. That's uh, one of the first bosses you'll actually come across in the game. And also, it's featured in several different trailers of it flying around, but not showcased in actual battle. So, really cool. Um, on the left side... Those dinosaurs at the top with the green, those are very common. And also the boars are very large, but those are actually very common as well. And I don't believe those attack you unless you attack them. Next up, here's one of the biggest dinosaurs in the game, but you will see a lot of them and they are a part of objectives. Again, you have to climb to the top of them, which takes quite a bit of effort. And you have to attach your spear on the center of the head of, or the platform and activate some data and get certain resources and stuff like that from what I've seen from gameplay. And that is the rest of the concept art, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's a lot different from what I normally do on the channel. But since I did get the Digital Deluxe Edition and I also end up getting the Collector's Edition, and that's coming in the mail very soon, I will be doing an unboxing video of the Collector's Edition. But alongside that, I want to show everybody the concept art in one single video, especially for the people that couldn't purchase the concept art. And if you want to purchase the concept art, it is available on Amazon or GameStop or even through Guerrilla Games' actual website. They do sell the actual paperback booklet. It's going, well, it's not paperback. It's, it's a paper, it's a book, but it's hard covered. It's a collector edition art concept book that they're selling. And I believe it's $25. So if you want all of this concept art, you have it on this video, but if you also want to go and purchase it, I'll try to find a link for you so you can go and buy it for 25 bucks, I believe. But thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys enjoyed this kind of stuff and you want to see more stuff like this when new games come out, let me know down in the comment section. And Also, if you did enjoy this and you want to support the channel, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for future content. I will be covering all of Horizon Zero Dawn on this channel, so if you want to stay tuned for that, just that subscribe button is right down below. Thank you guys so much for the support, and as always, stay violent, be privileged. We'll see you all in the next episode.